What is up guys, it is Steady Chaos. So I wanted to release a very quick video here on January 5th, Tuesday night, because this afternoon LG finally released an official statement regarding the brand new patch 03.21.09. Now if you'll recall on January 2nd, I released a video about this very patch. And I talked about all the confusion and consternation about this patch within the LG OLED community. There are a lot of people in ABS forums saying that pre-patch their HDR game mode was around 650 nits and then post-patch it was around 525 to 550 nits which was about a 15 to 20 percent reduction in brightness. But then you had other people like myself and other YouTubers saying that they didn't notice any perceptible drop in brightness in HDR game mode. So you had all this confusion, nobody knew for sure if LG had reduced the brightness with this patch on HDR game mode or, you know, and if they did reduce the brightness, did they do it on purpose or was it a bug? Was it unintentional? So John Archer of Forbes uh, on December 31st released an article indicating that yes, the latest LG OLED TV firmware update reportedly makes gaming duller. He talked about this. And he kind of theorized as to why this might be happening. Was LG reducing the brightness in HDR game mode to prevent burn-in? Because so many people have been playing during the pandemic that LG is afraid of burn-in. Is LG reducing the brightness to try to help fix or ameliorate uh, black level rays with Dolby Vision content or with VRR gaming? Nobody really knew for sure. Um, so... One thing was certain though, the patch wasn't all negative. The patch seemed to improve uh, posterization in Dolby Vision and HDR content. Uh, it cleaned it up a little bit. Uh, you had less gradations of color and you had uh, less gradations when it came to kind of darker shades, uh, near black shades, if you will. So I think that is why people like myself, when they started playing in HDR H gig mode on their games, despite the fact that the brightness may have been reduced 100 nits, that shadow detail and clarity was improved post patch. So it wasn't all bad with update 0321.09. But even so, people paid a lot of money for their LG OLED TVs. The 48-inch version, $1,500. 55-inch version, around the same price. 65-inch version, you know, $2,000-ish, maybe a little under. 77-inch version, really expensive. The B10, the G10. People are paying for these LG OLED TVs, sure, for the pure blacks and the great picture quality. But they're also, you know, they're paying for the marketed 650 to 700 nits of peak brightness. They don't want to buy a product and then find out, you know, six, seven, eight, nine months later that it's been reduced by 20%. And now they're left with a dollar gaming set. You know, that's not fair. So a lot of people wanted answers from LG. And so in this particular article, John Archer of Forbes, he does go on to state at the end, I've raised the issue with LG and recent experience suggests that a fairly quick response will be forthcoming. So we have gotten that response from LG and this is why I'm making this video because I promised you guys once I heard something official from LG, I would let you guys know what the situation was. So here we are. Uh, here is John Archer again with an update again January 5th now 2021 which is today the day I am filming this video. Now the official statement from LG reads as follows. LG has been made aware that its latest firmware released impacted the maximum brightness in gaming mode on some 2020 models. So they're saying that it's not across the board all models, some 2020 TV models. So I don't know if that means that some users are having this glitch or bug or that only CX users are having it and BX users aren't or only GX and not CX. I, I don't really know what they're trying to say by some 2020 TV models. They're probably trying to use wording that is um, kind of putting this situation for LG in maybe a more positive light. They don't want to make it sound like every single TV has been affected. Only, only some of the TVs have been affected. And the fact that LG says they've been made aware leads me to believe that this was not an intentional reduction in brightness on LG's part with this patch. Any, that, that's how the verbiage is used anyway. Uh, that's how it sounds. But, you know, LG could be just saying this to try to get, you know, the negative press off their back, you know. It could have very well been intentional on LG's behalf, but now that they've been caught, they say, well, oh, this was a bug. Uh, we didn't mean to do this. We didn't, we didn't realize that HDR game mode with this patch would be affected negatively. 
I'm not sure I believe that, but this statement so far reads as if LG is saying it's a bug. They didn't intend to reduce brightness in HDR game mode and that it only affects some 2020 TV models, okay? So LG goes on to say a new firmware will, will be released in the upcoming weeks to correct the brightness level while maintaining the improvements in handling HDR and color banding addressed by the current firmware. So that's good news because I do feel like HDR is being handled somewhat better in terms of posterization and also in terms of color gradients and banding. It seems smoother. It seems a little bit more clear. Um, it's not it's not quite as fuzzy. It's not quite as harsh as it was pre-patch. And if you go and you watch a video recently released by HDTV Test and Vincent about this, he'll kind of show you some footage pre and post patch while watching a Dolby Vision uh, video clip. And you can kind of see where there is some posterization in the darker areas. Uh, there's some loss of detail there. It's not quite as clear pre-patch and then post-patch, it's actually been cleared up quite a bit. So maybe that is why, I don't know if this only pertains to Dolby Vision either. I don't know if it pertains to HDR10 content and when you're gaming on the PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series X, but I feel like post-patch, when using HGIG, I feel like the shadow detail areas are a little bit clearer, a little bit cleaner, and a little bit easier to see and navigate now. Whereas pre-patch, I just felt like HGIG, to some degree, crushed blacks. To, to some degree, it wasn't visible enough for me to use, which is why I always use dynamic tone mapping. And anyway, so LG concludes their statement by saying, thank you for your patience, and we apologize for any inconvenience. So yeah, guys, that is the official word from LG as it pertains to this new 032109 update. I guess the question remains, did LG deliberately reduce the brightness of the HDR game mode? And did they do it in a manner that is kind of stealthy and on the down low to try to avoid uh, negative press? I don't understand why LG would do that because there are so many dedicated LG OLED TV users out there not only in the YouTube community, but in ABS form and all across the internet. And a lot of these people, they have light meters, they have calibration tools. So for LG to release a patch, which a lot of people immediately say, oh, look, a new patch. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look at the patch notes. I'm going to test my TV's brightness. I'm going to see what's changed. For LG to think that they could slip in, if they're doing it intentionally, for them to think that they could slip in a 20 to 25% reduction in brightness while making these other improvements, and for them to think that people wouldn't notice, and for them to think that people wouldn't be pissed off, is just beyond my comprehension. That is why I am more inclined to believe that LG was attempting to fix some of these HDR performance issues with the raised blacks. They were attempting to fix some handshake and eARC issues. They were attempting to fix some VRR issues as well with the raised blacks and flickering blacks. And maybe for whatever reason, because they were attempting to fix those VRR issues, which was, you know, which is a part of game mode on the TV, somehow that negatively impacted or affected the brightness within game mode on LG B10, C10, and G10 TVs. So let's just hope that this was LG uh, making a mistake with a patch and that it was some sort of inadvertent bug. And let's hope that LG was not intentionally trying to reduce the brightness on the down low so that people wouldn't notice or that they were somehow trying to intentionally reduce the brightness right around CES 2021 so that people would look at the 2021 OLED line and say, oh, look, it looks brighter than the 2020 OLED line. I need to upgrade now. Let's just hope that's not the case. So anyway, guys, that's going to conclude this video. Hopefully now we have a little bit of finality on what exactly this 032109 update did to your TV, both positive and negative. And the good news is, regardless of whether LG did this deliberately or not, they have pledged to fix this problem. They have pledged to roll out another patch within the next two or three weeks or so to restore everybody's HDR game mode brightness back to around 650 nits, okay? So all is not lost. Um, it is not doomsday. Your LG OLED has been improved to some degree by the 032109 update, and it will also get its brightness back sooner rather than later. Okay, guys? So hopefully you have found this video helpful, and if you have, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel, and we will see you guys later. Peace.